Hello everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Skype resolver. So this means you'll have like your own sort of software where you can like pull people's IPs just from their Skype username. Um, I'm not really for doing it, but for the people that are, um, I thought I'd make this video for you. Uh, it's really simple to do, um, and if like it, as it's just an API we're going to be using uh, to find the actual IP itself, you can use the same sort of like technique uh, along with all the different APIs. So you can actually build a software that like can grab more than just an IP all in the one software. Um, I've been making a Skype tool recently. Uh, I'll show you what, what it is now. Uh, ignore this. It's not final. It's just for now. Placeholder. Uh, I can just show you it in like pro, like in progress. So basically, uh, it's in this tool. So if you was to type in a username, uh, I don't know. I'm not. I won't put mine in. But uh, so if I just type Joe, hopefully that's a username. Um, press resolve IP and. As you can see, it's found the IP for the Skype username, which is Joe. So, as it, like in my tool, you could then paste the IP and find the Skype, and it finds that it's Joe. So, same sort of thing. Uh, if I was to type Joe into the picture, resolve his picture, uh, he doesn't have a picture. Um, but yeah, this tool's going to be coming out soon. Uh, I'm just going to release it. I know there's plenty of tools, but. I thought I'd make my own one, so I, I, I like to use my own things like instead of using others. I don't know why, but I just thought I'd make it. But I'm going to release it as well, so look out for that. Um, but yeah, it's basically going to be just something sim small like that. So yeah, let's get started with this. Uh, we want to create a new project. And we're going to just be using uh, Visual Basic for this. Let's call this uh, Simple Resolver. Let this create the new project. Uh, I'm not going to um, worry too much about the design of this thing. Uh, let's just drag it here. So basically, what we need for this is where's the all windows form? Basically, all we need is a button uh, and two text boxes. Whatever that is. I think I think I added two in. No, just copy and paste that one. Uh, so I'll sort of lay it out how it was before. If I just put this somewhere here, move that along there, pull that down. Just change the text to this and resolve IP. And let me just um, make this smaller. So what we're going to do is basically a few things before I do the code. Um, the bottom text box, we want to make it so we can't actually type into it because uh, we just want this to display the answer. So if you come down here, or actually before we do that, I just like aligning the text in the center. It just looks neater. Um, but that's up to you whether you do that. Uh, now we need to find what is it? Read only. Make that make the bottom text box to read only is true. And for the top one, I just want to find uh, text align and put that to center. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, double click on the resolve IP button. Just give myself some room here. And what we want to do is type dim web client as new system so that is system dot next dot web client and we want to do is dim uh, IP you can have this whatever you like um, I'm just calling it IP because that's what we're going to be finding it from uh, the link uh, we want to have this as a string and we basically this is going to equal so IP is going to be equal to web web client dot download string and this is where we need 
for the API to go. So we just put the two speeches in there. And we come on to um, API Predator. If you watch my previous video, I would have used this website. Um, I'm going to be using the resolve command from this. Uh, but like I said before, this is not very good from uh, API. If you want good APIs, uh, you you need to pay for them really. Uh, so yeah, if we just take this code here and paste it into uh, here in the string, what we want to do is remove the username because we're going to type that into the text box. So. Basically, we just want the link up until the equals, and after the last speech mark, we want to add plus uh, text text box one. Oops, where's that gone? Text box one dot text. Basically, what this does, if we come into the design, uh, what we type in here, so it'll it'll have the link, but it'll add on to the end of this link what we typed into this box so what you're going to end up with is the li the full link and obviously that will return something and it will be stored as IP so after this line all we want to do is do text box 2 so the bottom text box which is going to display the answer dot text and we want to set this text to just IP and what that should do is whatever the answer to this link is it will set it into the bottom text box so, uh, so let's try this out let's debug this so in here um, I'm just going to drag it and I'll, it's really small um, I'll just resolve myself <laughs> no I'll try and resolve Joe but this is not the API I used in my actual Skype tool so as you can see, crap, no IP was found for Joe. Um, like I said, the API is bad. Um, so if you can find yourself an API, then uh, basically all you need to do is replace this link. Uh, there's always free APIs popping up every now and then. Like You can also go to Abrasive Craft. I mean, they have some, obviously, that seem to be offline now when they was online yesterday, so that's pretty weird. Um, but yeah, there's always new ones popping up. Obviously, it's better than this one. Um, so yeah, it's just a really simple thing to create. Uh, and obviously, if you like getting people's IPs, which what for whatever reason you want to do that, then yeah, instead of using someone else's website, you can just have your own little tool, um, which is pretty cool. So that's it for this video. And I'm going to be like I said earlier, releasing that Skype tool soon and maybe even creating tutorials on how to create a Skype bot like the one I showed you, obviously with a lot more options and stuff, but yeah, if you do want that, make sure to leave a comment saying you'd want to see that and be sure to like the video and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.